And that's never fun and it's never enjoyable and it's never something you want to happen, but sometimes the business reality is just that people need to get let go. Walmart is laying it off. Big box retailer confirmed layoffs. In the memo, Chief People Officer Donna Morris, Donna Morris, I guess, said, the move is meant to bring more of its employees back to the office. Wait a minute, they're laying them off. How is that bringing them back to the office? The company brought corporate employees back to its Bentonville, Arkansas headquarters. Now, she said, Walmart is taking that a step further. The majority of employees working remotely in Dallas, Atlanta, and Toronto have been asked to relocate. Most will be moved to the company's Arkansas headquarters. In addition, some parts of our business have made changes that will result in a reduction of several hundred campus roles. While the overall numbers are small in percentage, we are focused on supporting each of our associates affected by the change. The layoffs are the latest cost cut for the discounter. In April, Walmart announced it would shutter 51 health clinics. New clinics, which offer doctor, dentist, and therapy appointments were part of Walmart Health. And I guess that wasn't working out because they closed them. Walmart is the nation's largest private employer with 1.6 million employees. Walmart has another reason to bring more employees to Bentonville. It is building a nearly 350 acre campus. So I guess they've got to put people in the office that they're building. I mean, as businesses grow and change and evolve, things go up and things go down. Hopefully you always want them to go up and always be adding people, but sometimes you realize that you went down a direction like maybe with the health clinics that wasn't really the direction the company wanted to go or it wasn't working out the way the company thought it wasn't bringing in the revenue expected. And so you have to make changes. A company as big as Walmart, it's good that they're continuing to try stuff because you can't get stale but not everything you try is gonna work. Google, Amazon, all these companies have the same issue. You go down a certain road, you think you know it might work out, it doesn't, that results in people getting let go. And that's never fun and it's never enjoyable and it's never something you want to happen, but sometimes the business reality is just that people need to get let go. And it looks like part of that is what's happening here. I'm not sure I understand why if people were working productively in jobs that aren't getting uh, terminated just because they're remote, why they're getting asked to relocate to Bentonville, Arkansas. Um, that may be a big ask for somebody who's in Dallas or Toronto to come all the way to Arkansas just to keep their job. There maybe is some internal logic that's going on there that, you know, this is just part of how the business world works. And hopefully those people, if they don't stay, can find something else. And if they do decide to move, then, you know, it all works out, but this is just one of those changes that happens in the business world.